When we got started with the project, what we had envisioned was exactly this. One of the visions that we had given Adam was to be simple and as minimal as we could be. We didn't want to take from the land, if we could possibly help it, just take as much space as we needed to use, really. They took a high performance design envelope on a, on a modestly sized footprint built on a slab. It's double stud wall construction up from there, cellulose filling the walls, then a scissor truss would be the simplest way to explain the basics of the roof. When we were putting the design together, we had scanned the internet, found stuff that we liked visually, did a fair amount of research about energy efficiency. Before they were even talking to me, they knew they wanted solar, they knew they wanted small. I never talked to them about light bulbs, LEDs were a given. This home has what I would call excellent insulation. It meets the pretty good house standard of R40 walls and an R60 roof an R20 under the slab, they're triple pane windows, so they, they're gonna perform about like a R5, it might be a little better than that. We used cellulose everywhere we could. That has much lower embodied carbon than spray foams that you might use to achieve a similar R value. We have uh, large roof overhangs, we have a good weather resistant barrier behind the siding, and we have a, a rain screen that puts ventilation on both sides of the siding. So when you get the details like that right, uh, simple materials do a great job. They then utilize mini split heat pump technology, a heat pump water heater, and a heat recovery ventilator to provide good indoor air quality that saves on energy. The air quality is, is amazing. It's incredibly comfortable. It's always a perfect temperature, even when it's below zero outside. And it's nice to have the thermostat on 72 and feel warm as opposed to our old barn draft house yeah. that's you know, at 75 and you're freezing. The HERS index on this home prior to renewables was 37. Post renewables, this home got to a negative 34, meaning that this home can far uh, exceed net zero and produce energy for electric vehicles or uh, growth if they ever chose to do so down the road. My favorite feature in my home is by far the solar array. You know, when we put the solar up, um, we got a really nice note from Adam that said, our children thank you for this. And that feels really felt really good. We got involved with NH Saves through our builder, Adam. Incentive programs like the ones that Eversource and New Hampshire Saves offer are an incredible help to us. They let us put a little bit more money into certain technologies that might not be quite where they will be in five or ten years, but are already a good idea. Eversource has really done well by us, and we're grateful for their program. We really were just kind of fortunate enough to have a home that just kicked butt. You know, what's really great about this house is it's smart. The floors are smart, the solar is smart, everything about this house is smart. It's really perfect, we love it. We know it'll be a forever home, which is exactly you know, where we started out 10 or 12 years ago. I love our home, we really love our home.